What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode here uh, on Above Average. If you don't uh, know who I am, my name is Trevor and uh, welcome to Above Average. If you like all things sports, feel free to leave a like and uh, smash that subscribe button. Uh, we got a lot to talk about today. Kind of just want to recap a, a pretty crazy weekend. Hey, 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 hey. Woo! Go Evander! Woo! Get a gamble the game check! Let's go Smith! Yeah, so as you can see, I kind of had a little too much fun at the game, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember a heck of a whole lot, but if you could, uh, if you're new to the channel, or if you're not, uh, that was Brady Pafka, he was there at the game with me, so we had a, we had a lot, lot of fun at the game. Woo! And uh, yeah, some good buds there. But um, yeah, uh, this is crazy, woke up this morning. Uh, Tyler Toffoli, the newest Calgary Flame, kind of want to talk about this, obviously, this is pretty big news. Yeah, so the Calgary Flames have acquired Tyler Toffoli, obviously, uh, from the Montreal Canadiens for a first round pick. I believe it's this year's uh, fifth round pick. Uh, Emil Heinemann, Heinemann, Emil Heinemann, I'm not too familiar with him, and Tyler Pitlick. Um, obviously, if you're looking just straight at this, you know, the first round pick, that could bite them uh, in the future, but as for right now, I think Calgary Flames, they, they win this trade. You get Tyler Toffoli, who's uh, really uh, rejuvenated his career ever since he left uh, Los Angeles Kings. You know, he's a pretty um, consistent scorer, and this year he's, uh, you know, just below, like he's, or he's like 26 points in um, 37 games. So that's like 0.7 guys, 0.75 uh, points per game. So. He's pretty good. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. You know, he did that with uh, Montreal, so obviously it's gonna be a lot different. With Calgary, they got a lot more, uh, you know, to offer in their top six, so that'll be exciting for a Flames fan. If, uh, you know, if you're a Flames fan, obviously that's that's gonna look good, and uh, that'll help them. It should help them, especially down the stretch. Uh, I know he's coming in at about 4.5 mil, so nothing too crazy. Um, the Flames will be able to afford that, but uh, this summer they've kind of got some cap. They got uh, a lot of, uh, players that they have to re-sign, so that'll be interesting to see what uh, happens there. But yeah, Tyler Toffoli, he brings a lot. Um, you know, he's got a good shot. He's a pretty, you know, he's a pretty nifty player. Um, all in all, this is a solid trade for the Calgary Flames. And uh, Montreal Canadiens, yikes, I don't know what you're going for, but um, yeah, nothing nothing too crazy there that they got. Tyler Pitlick, he was a former Oiler and, uh, and Flame. He's kind of been around uh, Arizona. I think he played. Philly, I know he played. So um, he's not a bad player, uh, Montreal, but you know, you're definitely not getting uh, Tyler Toffoli. Uh, but um, yeah, so that's that. Pretty interesting. Uh, if you're a Flames fan, let me know your thoughts. Where do you see him lining up in the top six? Obviously, he's going to be in the top six, I think. Um, elsewhere around the league, this is crazy. Jack Eichel is set to play on Wednesday against Colorado. Um, this is crazy. It's too bad, though, because Mark Stone is now on uh, LTIR. They just announced today. And uh, so that's really too bad because they've, uh, they've been pretty injured the whole team has so uh, that's too bad but Jack Eichel it's gonna be sweet uh, you know him and McDavid that's gonna start a pretty pretty crazy rival hopefully uh, you know Edmonton Vegas and uh, McDavid and Eichel you know they go way back uh, to 2015 and uh, it'll be awesome to see Jack Eichel back in the league you know coming off I think it was the 19 season he was you know one of the best centers in the league and um, you know obviously he has that potential and he's got a lot more players to play with, so this is really exciting. Vegas, you, you, oh yeah, this is sweet. He looks good in the jersey, and uh, it's crazy that he's already back playing. You know, if Buffalo would have just let him do the surgery, he would be playing right now or even earlier, but they were just so against it. But here he is, and uh, he's gonna be looking really good in the, the Vegas Golden Knights jerseys, and um, he's gonna, I think he's gonna fit in well. Like, they're, they're, that's, oh, they're gonna be so good. That's, I think, the team out of the West. You gotta look for Colorado and Vegas, especially when Vegas is healthy. So that's gonna be crazy. And they're playing Colorado, obviously, on Wednesday. So that could be a potential uh, Western Conference final this year. So pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, so not, not bad. Uh, let me know where you see him in the lineup. Uh, if you've got any Vegas fans, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, Super Bowl, obviously, that happened this weekend as well. This was crazy, Rams and Bengals. Um, honestly, I'm not the biggest uh, football guy. Brady is more of the football guy and uh, on above average, but uh, you know, 23-20, I know enough to know that's a pretty close game, pretty intense. I honestly didn't really watch a heck of a whole lot. I was more in it for the halftime performance, which was dope. Oh, they all came out gangbusters. It, it, looked, it looked really, really cool. That was easily, like, I don't know who's gonna go in next year, but they got a lot to, a lot of shoes to fill for sure. Um, yeah, so as far as the game, I, I really didn't watch a heck of a whole lot. I was rooting for the Bengals. I've always liked, uh, well, I wouldn't say always, I just, uh, growing up, I liked the tiger stripes that they had on their shoulder pads. I thought those were sweet. 
And um, Joe uh, Burrow, I obviously, I know a little bit about him. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a stud. I know a little bit to know that he's really, really good. And uh, it's too bad. Um, you know, he's kind of got some pretty sweet swagger going on right now, and it would have been cool. It would have been really cool if uh, he could have won that game, but whatever, he's still pretty young, and you got lots to look forward to in the future. So, and uh, lastly, I just kind of want to talk about this. UFC 271 happened this weekend. It was uh, Adesanya, and it was Whitaker. That was the main event. They fought before, Adesanya won, and uh, yeah, Adesanya, not only did he beat him uh, in a unanimous uh, decision, that's what they end up... Uh, how they ended up, he ended up winning, but uh, he beat him in uh, rock, paper, scissors and uh, right before the game, or right before the fight. So that was that was kind of funny. Adesanya is pretty sick, so is Whitaker. Um, honestly, I didn't watch, I haven't watched this fight yet, but I mean, Adesanya is kind of, the, he's the one to beat right now, for especially for that division. So uh, he's a stud, I'm sure I'm gonna watch it. And I am surprised uh, it was, it did go all the dis or the whole distance. I know Whitaker said he was surprised that it went that too, but um, yeah, it was, it was, I mean, two studs right there. I've always liked Whitaker. He's, he's kind of been a beauty. And uh, yeah, so that's just a quick little recap of all what uh, happened this weekend. Uh, there's quite a bit. I haven't really done a recap like this in a while. This is kind of what we did at the beginning of uh, this uh, show, the history of the show. We kind of recapped every sport, but we've been focusing a little bit on hockey. But I mean, you can't not talk about, you know, the Super Bowl. And uh, it was a pretty, pretty sweet fight night. And uh, yeah, so that's why I want to talk about it. So that's all I got for this one. Guys, if you're a sports fan, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, it means, means the world. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a video coming out probably on Thursday. Um, yeah, and the Oilers, they play tonight. So if you're an Oilers fan, also leave a like. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. So take her easy, uh, have a beautiful rest of your day and happy Valentine's Day to uh, everyone out there. Okay, bye guys, see you in the next one.